Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. On today's episode, we're going to wrap up the BMW, uh, you know, give it one last check over, get it cleaned up, and uh, we'll move on to something else. So I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. check the lights real quick. I, I put it up against the garage door so when I like touch the brakes I can see if they come on. And they have to be running. I'm thinking that brake light is out, but we'll take a look at it. Working on the side. on the side over on that side as well. I'll, uh, I'll show you. This has got the, uh, the lights in the side of the car. All right, I'm going to take a look at that brake light. Okay, right up in this corner of the trunk, there's a panel that pops out, and I'm looking at these three bulbs, and it looks like this one, there's no filament in it. So I'm going to call this one the culprit. It's just an 1156 bulb. Let me grab another one and let's see what happens. Alright, I'm going to pull the door down and we'll try it again. Solved. All right, so I was trying to adjust the rear view mirror in this car so I could see where I was going, what was going on behind me, and there's all this crap on the mirror, and it won't let it adjust to where I need it to, so... There you go. Anybody want a beautiful necklace, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to give it to you. Ah, there we go. Now it goes up like it should, and uh, I should be able to adjust it now. Let me try. Uh, look at that. Perfect. Alright. Sweet. Here's that necklace. I'm sure any of you guys' wives would love to get this for Christmas. It's right around the corner. So if you, uh, if you want, let me know and I'd be happy to get it to you. I'm even fixing the clasp for you. There you go. Yeah, it's probably more of a bracelet, I guess. I, nobody's neck is that small, but it's beautiful, don't you think? I'm going to put this bracelet in our filing cabinet here so I don't lose it. So if I forget where it is, just remind me it's in the filing cabinet. Oh, shoot, where did I put that? I, that was a Christmas gift for my wife. Got it. Whew. 
That was a close one. I almost lost that. All right, let's take the BMW out for a drive and see how it does. Just realized the windshield's real dirty. Sorry guys, hope you can see through it okay. Overall, not too bad. Not perfect, but not too bad. Um, you know, it seems overall like a halfway decent car. As far as BMWs go. <laughs> I just don't like BMWs that much. Ooh, a little dust cloud followed us in. There it is all washed up. Looks way better than it did. It still, you know, could use another wash. There's still a lot of grime on it. Um, but uh, we'll take care of that down the road. I've got the whole interior to do yet. And I'm sure going down to the shop and things like that, it's gonna get dirty again as well. So, but anyway, it looks way better than it did. I kind of know what I have now and know what I can, you know, needs to be done with it and things like that, so. All right, you can see these headlights are pretty cloudy. I'm gonna go ahead and sand them and then uh, buff them out. I usually, for something like this, I'll start with 800 and go up to about 1500 and then buff them out. So let's get them cleaned up. All right, there it is, all done. It's a little dirty, but that's all right. But you can see what a big difference that makes. I mean, it cleans up the whole front end of the, of the car, makes it look way better. It's something that just takes a little bit of time and hardly any money. You don't need the buffer like I had. You can just do it by hand. I mean, it's gonna take a fair amount of time longer, but it makes a big difference.
right, today we're going to replace these lights on both sides. You can see the uh, exterior part of the lens fell off. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I think we've got to pop the inside of the trunk off uh, this stuff right up here. And then I think we can get to it and uh, screw it on. Alright, looks like it's got a bunch of push pins in it. We're going to have to get some of these out. Oh yeah, they're this style push pin. The other one's exactly the same way, so I'm not going to bother to film it, but you saw how it was done. Alright, the camera wasn't on, but I put the, all the push pins back in, and uh, I think we're in good shape right now. Just get all the tools out of the trunk and take a look. There we go. Alright guys, the BMW is all done. Figured I'd give you one last walk around of it. Chevy pickup just a late model Chevy pickup and he thinks the engines letting go in it and he's out in Odessa Texas which is about five hours from here so come along and uh, we're gonna go uh, rescue him
Time to load her up. Odessa, Texas, so we're putting a little more air in the tires on the trailer and then we're going to head back home. Another five hours. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you back soon. Whoop. Didn't mean to hit you guys on the windshield. Hope your head's okay.